Hey, Dr. Raheev Fernando has been joining us on Thursdays now. He's one of uh, New York's top infectious disease doctors, and he's answering your COVID-19 questions. And uh, Kathleen's got a question for you. Doctor's on the phone with us right now. And Kathleen in Danbury says, based on what we know about the virus, what would be a good time to open up businesses here in Connecticut? What do you think, doctor? Yeah, good question. Uh, every state uh, varies, of course. And I think one, we, we have to take one step at a time. I still think we're, we're acute. We still have a lot of cases going on. But not only, I always say the United States of America, but in this case, it's every state for itself. Every state, every uh, town, every area for itself. So what I think over here is we really have to start very slowly. Uh, things that I think can start right away are restaurants, uh, bars, things of that. Gyms can be started as well, um, as long as you limit to solo activity, no group classes, things of that. Uh, let's talk about restaurants, for example. Um, you know, we have to start opening them up. I would probably think it's uh, reasonable to get a temperature check at the while you, before you enter into the restaurant. Um, other things you can do in restaurants are social distancing. Uh, now, people in America know what this is all about, and people are really scared. So the restaurants will, uh, the people will be able to cooperate with the restaurants. And when the restaurants say, listen, six feet here, six feet there, they're going to they're gonna go for it. So I think that's an appropriate way. Uh, they'll still they'll start opening that up. And the important thing uh, is with the second wave that's coming out later on this year, the best we do, the better we do right now by you know continuing this uh, measures, social distancing um, and uh, hand hygiene, things of like that, wearing masks. The better we continue these, these activities, the lesser the stress uh, for the second wave. That's what I think right now. Can you explain herd immunity and should we have gone that route? Yeah, great question again. Uh, so herd immunity is something that develops in the community when uh, many people in the community have had uh, an infection. But they've, uh, they've all been infected by COVID-19. The community itself develops something what's called a herd immunity but unfortunately for this virus, I'm not going to bank on herd immunity right now. We still have the concept of reinfection, which means traditionally when someone gets in infected, the body responds by producing antibodies and pretty much you're done. Your body, eventually your body will beat the infection. The antibody levels are high and you're good to go. But what we're seeing with this disease so far is we're seeing reinfection which means when someone produces antibodies, it's not necessarily true that the antibodies are protective against the next infection. So this is very worrisome right now. And that's why at this time, I really wouldn't bank on herd immunity. Of course, it's uh, been done for many, many viruses, but definitely I would like this. We are getting reinfected. With I've heard about cases like people who've gotten it of getting it again. It's true. That, uh, so usually what we do for other viruses, we're able to check uh, a certain antibody level. And when we have that level, it's a, it's a universal level. If it, whatever part of the country you go, whether it's New York or California or Connecticut, a number of, a number of let's say, 0.5 is universal across the board. We don't know what that magic number is right now for uh, coronavirus. That poses a, a problem for us right now. we got another question for the doctor from Gina in Bethel. She says, when can states begin to relax social distancing? She sent a link to some data of uh, some models compiled earlier this week by the University of Washington that says New York, maybe by May 28th, and Connecticut not till June 17th. What are your thoughts on these dates, uh, Dr. Raheev? I, I think at this point where we are right now, we should just be keeping social distance. We should keep doing social distancing and make it a part of our life, really. Uh, that's the, just, become, just walk around with a hand sanitizer, walk around with a mask, social distance. There's some new watches uh, which going to be probably coming out by Samsung, which automatically alerts the person if there's someone closer than six feet to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's fascinating technology. And really, we just have to, at this point, we just have to incorporate that into our life. Granted, it's been a difficult few months, but we are going to be reopening, but we have to reopen with extreme caution. Now, if we're talking about the gyms. Now, say, for example, people been indoors right now i'm seeing a, an increase or a spike in the number of cases of psychiatric manifestations and to be perfectly honest with you going to the gym is an anti a natural antidepressant so these are we have to work through all these but rather than just say open it up open it up there has to be a very good thought process between 
the public and the business owners, uh, and they have to work together. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like this social distancing thing. I don't like the virus. I'll be really glad when that's gone, but I kind of like this social distancing. It, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice. Nobody's in your face. You can avoid people if you like. You know, it's kind of it's kind of good. Yeah, I think it's going to become a part of our life. You know, the people are really petrified of this. And I think uh, it's going to become a part of our life. Like handshakes, I, I don't even know whether people are going to shake hands anymore just based on what's been going on for the next few months, the last uh, few months. So it is going to become a part of our life. All right. Well, Dr. Rahi Fernando, you are always a wealth of information. I appreciate it. And looking forward to next week when we get some more questions for you. Always. Thank you so much for having me and stay safe, Connecticut.